All right, so really quickly, before this video begins, uh, the first, like, eight episodes, I think it's eight, the first bunch, it doesn't really matter the number, the first bunch of episodes of this playthrough are on another channel. I started them on my second channel. I am now transporting uh, this entire series and, you know, a bunch of other games and stuff onto my main channel. I kind of made a short video discussing this, but just in case you didn't watch it or you just didn't get the notification or whatever happened, figured I'd mention it here too. Um, so if you are new to the Minecraft series, uh, be sure to watch the other episodes, unless you just don't care and you just want to pick up here, that's fine too. But if you want to watch the first, like, seven or eight episodes, they are on my second channel. A link to that channel is down in the description. Um, I'm probably going to make a Minecraft playlist on this main channel too, and I'll throw all those videos in order in the playlist, so you can just go to there if you'd like to as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, just enjoy the rest of the video. Figured I'd get that out of the way, just so you guys aren't super lost with this world. <laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome back to some more Minecraft. I actually just realized something that is pretty amazing. Um... I'm guessing that the software I used to record this with uh, has updated because I'm using Optifine. Like I can zoom in and I have like the better grass on and like the greenhouses look so much better with the glass. Oh, one texture. Okay. Well, that's a really cool surprise. I didn't expect to see this right now. I'm actually going to check the recording in a little bit to make sure this is actually even recording. Uh, but last time we uh, built this building over here, you can kind of see the top of it. Um, and that building is going to be used to enchant and it's also going to be my storage room I decided that kind of recently. I'm gonna move all my stuff into that building I'm gonna set up a bunch of chests do all that good stuff because the current storage system we have is awful. It is terrible It's really bad. It's literally just this This is all the stuff that we have on this world. Okay, we definitely have to make some changes I also uh, extended this path all the way over here and let me actually just show this off before I forget it also extends over to the cow farm So that's nice Threw down these like torches on these uh, stone brick walls just as a bit of decoration to light up the area a little bit. I think it looks nice. I'll go over. Actually, there's one other small thing I changed. I got rid of this rock that was here and put barrels because uh, the one barrel I had for this farm is pretty much full, as you can see here. So I added a couple more. There's three more barrels. There's this one, that one, and then this one over there. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's uh, finish off the balcony. I actually need some more blocks. I have spruce wood on me. We're good. Um, so the whole kind of idea here is that I have a stone brick wall on the bottom of each of these, and then two spruce uh, fences, and I think it looks pretty cool, at least leading up to the top here. And then just uh, stone brick slabs going all the way across there, and then we will fill in the rest with spruce trapdoors. This should be enough, actually. There we go, we made enough, and then I just need to put in this bottom part here, which I know exactly what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna fill that in with. Let me get the materials. The other thing we need to finish this are a bunch of uh, spruce fence gates. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of those. I always forget, is it these in the middle? And then wood around it? No, it's the other way around. Alright, so we're gonna make as many fence gates as we can. We got 15. I'll use them all eventually, if I don't use them all here. But this is going to be the design for the outside. And there we go. We actually uh, had enough for that, so that's nice to see. So yeah, if you put a fence gate next to a wall like this, it, like, it stays a little bit lower than a fence gate normally does. So it makes this little cool pattern. I don't know, I like it a lot though. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the outside there and then we can probably just throw like trap doors on these just to get something i could probably extend that all the way up but i don't really want to i think it looks fine the way it is we do have to work on the rest of the terraforming because it looks really bad like from the side in some of these cases especially over here it looks really bad just right there it drops off so significantly so uh, we'll definitely have to build this out a little bit more and make it look a little bit more natural i will get on that later uh but for now since like at least the main build is done I do want to change the inside. I don't think I pointed this out, but I added cross beams like across the whole like downstairs here, and then also uh, up here I added cross beams as well. I think it makes it look a little bit better. I put a bunch of torches in here just because I want to make sure that like nothing spawns. <laughs> um, I continued this going all the way upstairs as well. Maybe this can be like a bedroom or something like that. I don't know just yet, but uh, for now we are going to work on the downstairs. But for now, let's go ahead and move all the chests in here. All right, whatever, we have 26 chests now. That's a lot. So how do I want to section all these off? The windows might look a little funny because I'll probably have chests like going up against the windows. Okay, so funnily enough, after all of those chests, I don't even have enough, but this is pretty much what uh, the room is going to look like, I think, right? Um, we just gotta extend these all the way up to the top. If it looks funny on the top, I can fix that pretty easily. I'll figure out a way to do it. But those are going to extend like that. And then I think I'm going to put maybe like stairs. I can do stairs like that. Because I can still access all of those. 
That doesn't look too bad. I could just do that all the way across because I could access all these still, right? Yeah, these are all still accessible. So that's an option. And then maybe for the bigger one, I need more stairs, but I can probably do a stair and then maybe a trap door. I like that. I think it looks pretty sick. This is going to be our new storage area. And I think it actually looks really good. Um, this window is still there, which looks kind of funny. I think that window's there too. Um, I can definitely take these windows out. At least I have silk touch now, so I can get the window back. But we can take those out, and then I can add something here. I don't know what just yet, but um, I should be able to add something. We can keep the other windows, because they're not being affected by anything. But uh, these two in the ends, I'm definitely going to have to remove. I don't have to, but there's like no point of even having a window there, because all you see are chests, and looks kind of dumb. But <laughs> uh, let's do that. I also had to remove the windows all in the back here, but we can put something there for sure to make it look more interesting. Uh, this one... Like I just said before, you can definitely make it look more interesting. But this is going to be the chest room. I think this looks really good. I'm a fan of this. I'm going to put torches between them as well, just so like nothing... I don't even know if anything can spawn there, but just in case. Can I get a chest? Can I get a torch back there? I can. Okay, sweet. So, uh, let me finish making all the chests. It takes so much wood to do all this stuff, man. But yeah, I think I'm finally done using barrels. I've used them for a while. And we are finally finally done with them all right well i don't know if i have enough wood to actually finish all the chests i shouldn't need this many chests like right now anyway this is kind of just like for the future really but for now it's pretty good let's just start moving all the stuff in so i'm probably gonna make like a chest for like each kind of wood because i think i have enough chests now where i can, where I can totally do that so this can be the spruce one why not um, I always kind of considered sticks as oak, even though you can make sticks out of whatever kind of wood, right? That's fine. And then dark oak can be the top one. Those are the three kinds of woods I use the most anyway, so I think that's fine. All right, so this is just going to be the wood area, I think. I don't use many other kinds of wood. So, like, I can make this one spruce, and if I ever fill this up, this one could even end up being spruce. I might leave some of these empty for now. Um, but definitely we're going to need a cobblestone chest. I'll just make, like, a stone chest in general. Because I'm going to have a lot of stone stuff at some point. Just a stone and gravel chest. That's perfect. I'll probably make like this top row all stone. And then dirt. We're going to get a ton of dirt at some point as well. So I'm just kind of like preparing for the future. Really when it comes to this kind of stuff. So that can all be dirt. Maybe even above that can continue being dirt or something. Um, and this one can be like glass and sand. Okay sweet. We got all the chests complete. Um, I went back to the main house. I had some more wood. And actually a couple chests. So that works out pretty well. So let's continue just sorting all this stuff. This is going to take me a long time. I'm not going to show most of this because this is very boring. But I will uh, sort all of these into the specific chests. Okay, so everything is now organized. Right, to the best of my ability, I organized everything, right? So we have all our wood over here. I didn't fill in um, most of these yet or any of these yet because that's going to be more wood products. Uh, this is just going to be like all other random building blocks. So I have like my gray uh, stone in here, like my gray types of uh, stone. Then we have like granite. I like granite. It's actually not a bad looking block in my opinion. So I'll probably put a lot of that in here. Maybe some bricks whenever we get that. Maybe some like different colors of clay too. Uh, that just kind of fit that same color scheme. Uh, this one's just going to be dirt probably all the way up honestly. I might switch out one of those top ones. I don't know just yet. This is going to be like glass and clay products and stuff like that for now. Uh, and sand. And then one of these as well is going to be nether. Because you know you fill up on, on nether items very quickly you get a ton of nether rack and all that good stuff when you actually go to the nether which i think we're going to do today as well uh, so one of these other ones is going to be nether and then over here we have my valuables um, not just like ores just random valuable things that i that i have on me um where did i put my lanterns they're in here i want those going in the valuables they're not necessarily valuable but i really like lanterns so uh, i'm gonna keep those in there these are the tools and like the you know, buckets stuff like that that's what that chest is gonna be this one's just gonna be like books and paper but honestly i put my books up by the enchanting table anyway i don't know what to do with this chest at the moment so like random stuff can go in there it's gonna be like all like food and crops and all that good stuff uh this one is empty honestly just so when i run out of space on this one i can fill up this chest and then this chest is just mob drops and other random stuff that i didn't know where to put like dye and a lead and saddles those aren't really mob drops same thing with that music disc so yeah we have everything, you know, kind of organized now. I like it. Looks nice. I didn't mean to, like, zoom in. That kind of trips me out. I'm sorry if that bothers you. I should not do that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm actually really happy that we got everything settled at the moment. Also, the the uh, barrels are still in my old house because I think they kind of just, like, look cool. I don't know why I'm calling this my old house. I think this is still going to be, like, my main house, like, where I go to sleep and stuff like that. I'll probably eventually put a bed in uh, the storage area at some point. I just don't have any wool at the moment. Uh, so I will get on that pretty shortly. But I think for now, we are good to do a bit of exploring. Just not 
in this dimension, okay? We're gonna be exploring in the nether. I gotta find a spot for the nether portal because I have an idea of what kind of like nether portal I wanna make. And um, I need like a specific little piece of land in order to make this work. So let me go find what I'm looking for. So I wanted to build this into the side of a mountain. I think it looks really cool if you do that. And I kind of have um, an idea in mind of what else I want this thing to look like. But I'm going to build it, I think, in the side of this mountain right here. I was going to do it to that one over there. But it's kind of far. I think this one could be a little bit more practical. Because it's a lot closer to my house. So, um, yeah. I'm going to put it right here. I want to make this look like it's embedded into the mountain. And then um, I have a design for what else I want to do with this. But for now, let's just put this down. So, like that. And, um... I'll put this here for now, I guess. Because I don't want, like, the obsidian really showing at all. Something like that. I'll work on, like, an overhang for this to make it look a little bit more natural. But let's light her up. We can go in the nether now. I'm not going to do it just yet. I don't want to take my pickaxe because I really don't want to lose that. And then I want to bring a bow for sure. Because, you know, I don't want to kill ghasts just by punching their stuff back. I mean, I'll try that to get the achievement. But, um, yeah, I, I want a bow. <laughs> I'm also going to get a ton of uh, cobblestone just to, like, fortify my portal. Um, I'm probably never going to make that look good just because it's the nether. Like, it doesn't really matter to me, at least, if it looks good or not. So I'll probably just build, like, a regular box around it just so we don't get blown up. Also, just out of curiosity, what would my bow and champ be? Oh, wait, this is now level 24. I put a trap door here. Did that actually change it? That did change it. So I can't put a trap door there. That's fine. That's just gonna have to look like that then. Whatever. Uh, anyway, yeah, the bow enchant. Just seeing if I can get infinity. I get power four. Not too bad, I guess. I really want fortune though. I need to get that at some point. I'm breaking three. Wouldn't be bad. My next pickaxe. I just completely forgot what my enchantments are. Because we can probably get to level thirty pretty quickly if we mine some nether quartz. I might just go do that and then maybe make another pickaxe, and then we could potentially go mining uh, in the next video. But I think we're good to go. I guess let me drop off this trap door. Uh, now we should be good to go. I think we are now finally good. That took way too long to prepare. I always, like, remember stuff way too late. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else we need. Let's head into the nether. And, uh, hopefully we get a good spawn. I really hope I'm not in, like, a regular nether biome. Because those are boring. I also have not been in the nether yet, right? So, um, it should be updated, like, to where the nether is now. Even though I started this series before that update came out. But regardless, let's go. Please don't die. The most annoying thing I'd lose right now are my levels. Okay, okay, we spawned in. We're in a regular nether biome. Let me just, uh... Be sure to do this real quick. It's a pretty safe-looking nether. Really nothing too bad. Nothing too crazy, though. Let me just build, like, a little room for my nether portal just so I don't blow up ever whenever I come in. <laughs> Alright, there we go. It's not pretty, but it does not have to be pretty at all. Literally, I just need a way to get into the nether safely. So, it does not have to be pretty. Might as well take this quartz while we're here. I wanted to spawn next to the newer trees, because I think they look really cool. I think both of them are really nice looking. Okay, anyway, this is our nether. It's very boring, but at least it's safe. Are those guys just on, like, a floating couple blocks? <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> How you doing? Are you just gonna run off? Yep, okay, well, that guy got knocked off. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot that last one. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, well, yeah, we're chilling. I'm gonna get a bunch of quartz. Should be a very easy way to get to level 30. I'll explore this a little bit as well. Oh, let me also remember the coordinates. Let's uh, just continue getting this nether quartz. I'll update you guys when anything cool happens, but for now, I'm literally just gonna be mining this. I honestly might break my pickaxe in a little while. Okay, wait, hold on. We got a crimson forest right over here. That's not bad at all. Nice. So we have access to a nice biome over here. I hate those things. I forget what they're called. But those things are uh, pretty strong and very annoying. Let's go kill a couple of them, I guess. <laughs> On that note. Because they give you food. And I'll take food and leather, I think. You guys not attack me if I have gold? You guys definitely attack me, right? Did you guys really not attack me if I have gold on? I didn't know that. Will you attack me now? Oh, you won't. Now you will. What? What changed? Okay. That was a weird fight. I thought those things attacked you just all the time. Maybe not. Okay. Well, anyway, just over this direction is one of the newer biomes. So that's nice to see. So we don't have to go very far to get some uh, crimson wood. And also the shroom lights look kind of cool. So maybe I can do something. Maybe I can do something with those at some point. Honestly, I don't even like quartz that much. 
I might use it for something because I'm gonna have a lot of it just from getting levels. So I guess, like, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out some way to use it, but I really don't like what the block looks like, honestly. But I guess it's alright. One good thing, though, I have not seen a ghast yet. Those are super annoying, even though I have a bow. And they won't be hard to deal with, but they're just really annoying. <laughs> What's up, guys? How you doing? You guys are nice and friendly. I like you. I appreciate you. What's over here? Um, okay, so at least there's no lava. In that direction. That's nice. A bunch of piglins over here, but I'm chilling. I'm one of you guys, alright? I'm one of you guys. I got the boots on. That's all it takes to be one of you guys now. But we are level 30. I think I might just go until this pickaxe breaks. And it's broken. Okay, well, we got to level 30. I'm gonna go ahead and enchant another diamond pickaxe before I come back. But this was successful, at least in the sense that uh, we know what the nether looks like now. And it's something else I don't have to worry about. We can still make a sword as well. So um, maybe we get a sword with the next one. But I do want another pickaxe for now. I want to get fortune. If I can get fortune on my next enchant, that would be huge. If I can get silk touch and fortune on my first two enchants, that would be massive. But at least I have silk touch, right? So this is just like unbreaking or something. Unbreaking efficiency. I don't know. Um, this can at least just be a good pickaxe to have. So this is going to be unbreaking three and efficiency four. Not ideal. But it's a good pickaxe in general. I can combine that with my Silk Touch one. I don't think I will. But it's at least a good pickaxe to have. Um, but what's my next enchant going to be? Fortune 3. Okay. Okay. So I need... <laughs> I need more diamonds. I need one more diamond. Alright. But let's head back in. Mine some more nether quartz. Do a little bit more exploring. And maybe try to find a fortress. Because if I can find a diamond just lying around in here, that would be really big. But uh, I still have my boots on, right? Yeah, okay. We're good. We're not going to get attacked. I forgot to bring gold again. One day I'll remember to bring gold, and then um, we can trade with these guys. I don't know if they can give you diamonds. I have no idea. Kind of go off in this direction a little bit. There's an Enderman. What's up, dude? I don't want to try to kill you right now. I don't want to die with 28 levels. Endermen are kind of spooky. Is that a Bastion? I think it's a Bastion. That is a Bastion. These things are terrifying. I am not at all ready to go explore a Bastion yet. Because, where are they? Is there a brute anywhere? This guy, right there. There he is. Those dudes do so much damage. The guys with the uh, the gold axes, they do an absurd amount of damage. So uh, I'm going to I'm gonna keep a mental note of that. At least I'm close to one. <laughs> but my god, those things do so much damage. It's insane. I also did want to actually start a strip mine. I don't know. But um, we are almost level 30 again. And then let me just like take a look over here. If I can find a fortress, that would be really big. Okay, so... I'm just really happy that this is a really safe nether. Like, there's nothing crazy here. Like, in terms of, like, huge drops into lava or anything like that. Like, it's it's pretty stable for the most part. I can't believe there's a bastion over there. Those things absolutely terrify me. I have another world with a couple friends, and, like, my friend and I went exploring in bastions for um, a little while, and we both died a couple times, and we have, like, all netherite stuff. So, yeah. Bastions are, bastions are the real deal. They're not easy. You have to take them very slow. Because if you get, like, a one-on-one -on -one fight with, uh, one of those brutes, it's pretty much over for you. <laughs> I would love if I could just see a fortress. Actually, it might be good that there's not a fortress around right now. Because I'd be tempted to go in and I'd probably die. <laughs> so, we will look for the fortress at another at another time. I'm not really super in need of one right now. I'm not trying to speed run the game, right? I'm not trying to end the game as quickly as possible. I'm going to take my time with this. We also have a good bit of time until the next update comes out anyway. Okay, so, uh, let's get back with our life. Thankfully. And then, um, I don't know what I want to do. I'm not sure if I want to just, like, develop the strip mine now or just go look for another village. I'm going to go mining. I think mining is probably the best thing to do. Because I still need more materials and stuff as well. And by materials, I mean ore. I don't know why I said materials. Like, iron. I need, I need, I need coal. Stuff like that. So, might as well go mining, I guess. So, let's just go do that. Okay, let me drop off all my stuff I don't need. Let me make sure I bring my silk touch pickaxe. And I'm breaking three. One of these next few episodes as well, I think I'm going to have to uh, work on the villagers. And work on, like, bringing them to my house. That shouldn't take too long. It's, like, a, a really annoying process, but it shouldn't take that long. I'm going to start the mine, like, here. I'll also work on the outside of this. I want to make it too deep, though. This is going to take a while, but I will get down to level 11. That's usually my go-to strip mining level. Let me know what your uh, go-to strip mining level is. Mine has always been 11. For like this entire time, essentially, 11 has been my go-to. My iron pickaxe is probably going to break. But honestly, I don't mind using my silk touch going down here. Because 
Um, getting a lot of uh, stone is going to be useful. Hey, look, iron already. We are awesome. So the uh, <laughs> the strip mine's not going to look good, like the stairway going down, but hopefully the outside I can make it look at least decent. So it's like its own building, maybe overrun by like stone or something. I don't know just yet. We'll figure it out. But um, I think I could do something at least okay for the outside. But yeah, this is going to stay just like this probably the entire time. Also, what level even are we on? 57. All right, we have a ways to go, but we'll do it. We're going to get a lot of cobblestone from this, which will be useful later, I guess. You know, we got a lot of stuff to do in this world, and I'm excited for it. Like, I mentioned that other world I have with uh, with a bunch of my friends, and uh, I'm very far in that world. We've done a lot. Also, that broke. That's fine. We've done a lot on that world. Like, we killed the Ender Dragon already. We killed a Wither. I have, like, full Netherite stuff. I have Elytra. Like, I, I've done a lot on that world, right? And it's just, like, fun coming back to this one. Where I really haven't done all that much yet because I have a lot to do. I have a lot to do. And that first world is kind of like a little test world just to see if I even know what I'm doing, which is nice. Because actually before that world, I've never gotten Elytra before. I've also never had mending on anything before, uh, you know, before that world. So it's like nice to actually like experience these things before I'm like completely new to them uh, because then I don't look as stupid in the video, you know? So it's not that bad. Oh, there's a cave down here. What level are we on? 37. Uh, okay. Hi, cave. I don't really want to go through a cave right now. I don't want to risk dying. I'll come back to this later, I guess. This is definitely something we can explore in a later episode. Um, but for now, let me just turn which way the mine goes. Um, and we're gonna go this way for the time being. But I will, like, leave a door here. Not with... I didn't mean to put dirt there, but it's fine. I will leave, like, a little door here just to, like, tell myself, Hey, there's a cave this way. Explore this later. So, I should be able to do that. And actually, before we get killed by, like, a creeper sneaking up on us, let me put another block up there. That would have been tragic if that's how I died here. We are getting there, boys. We are on about level 20. We could also find diamonds, like, straight down here. So, I've never actually done that before. I don't think I've ever found diamonds in the staircase going down to a strip mine. So, maybe this will be the first time. That'd be cool. All right, so, <laughs> the most annoying thing about having Optifine on is that I always forget to put torches down. Because when a torch is in your hand... With Optifine, it actually emits light. So you never need them when you're actually going. And I don't realize until I turn around that I haven't put any torches down forever. One of these times it's going to get me killed. Like a creeper is going to come behind me one of these times I'm mining. I just I just know it's going to happen. We are at level 11 right here. This is level 11. Okay, let me build out a little bit. Or let me dig out, not build. Let me dig out a little bit here and then we will begin. Pick here. Let's go this way. Now right, we got iron. Good start, I guess. Let's see how long it takes me to find some diamonds. I literally just need one diamond. And also, I don't have a pickaxe to mine it with right now to actually get the diamond, so I will just still touch them and then bring them up. Now, this is where I really forget to put torches. Whenever I'm going down a strip mine, when I'm making the strip mine, I'm normally not too bad with it. Like, I only forgot, like, once or twice there. But when I'm actually strip mining, I hardly ever put down torches. But we are going to have a lot of coal, which is really nice. All right, let's keep going. Let me find a diamond, please. Ready? It's going to be in the next 11 blocks. I'm going to find a diamond. Okay, one. All right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's gonna be this one. How cool would that have been? That would have been awesome. I hear lava, which would normally be nice, but I don't have a bucket of water because I'm dumb. I didn't actually want to go fully mining, so I didn't bring one. But you should always bring one. I hear a cave to my left. Can I just, like, find the good part of the cave? Just like a... A little, a little light blue boy, please. Honestly, I guess I'll take it. I hate redstone, but I'll take it for the experience when I fully mine it, I guess. Oh. I'm glad I took it. <laughs> What's up, guys? How you doing? Uh, I'm glad I took the, uh, <laughs> the redstone. <laughs> All right. There's a big vein, too. Anything diagonally? No, I don't think so. Okay. Might as well mine this redstone then, too. Is this like a, it's a glitch in the Matrix, in the Minecraft Matrix? There's just always diamonds under redstone? No? Okay. Well, cool. I'm going to go back now. <laughs> that was nice. Uh, I might as well go mine that redstone that's on the staircase as well. If there's a diamond beneath that, I'm going to be upset because I could have finished this a lot sooner. I guess there's a tip. Always mine everything you can find in a strip mine because you never know what's behind it. We have a lot of stairs. That should be enough to get back up, right? I made them all stone stairs as well because I have a lot of stone now. Not even just cobblestone, just regular stone. Why did it change? It doesn't just go by 
the quality of pickaxe, right? Am I dumb? Am I dumb boy? I could be dumb boy. Okay, so this is why I'm confused. I've done this for a couple pickaxes already. I'm just in a random creative world. And this diamond pickaxe says I'm breaking three. This iron pickaxe says I'm breaking three. Let me just enchant that, get another iron pickaxe. This one, efficiency four. Efficiency three, this time it changed. Okay, so it didn't change before. All of these were always the same. That one's different. Okay, so I could take a risk, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to enchant the iron pickaxe with fortune three. Just so I know I have fortune three. Right, and then whenever I get fortune three and another diamond pickaxe, I can combine it with that other pickaxe I have. I think this is probably the best bet. I could take a huge risk just in case the diamond one would yield fortune three as well. Let me just check it one more time. It's efficiency four. I'm going to do it with the iron pickaxe. Efficiency four, I'm breaking three, fortune three. I'm so sad that is iron, but it's okay. I am only going to be using that for fortune. That is the only reason I'm going to be using that pickaxe. So I will keep this diamond pickaxe for now. This one can stay there. And then the silk touch one, I will continue to use that while mining. Uh, just so I don't actually have to take this iron pickaxe with me. And then let me just go mine all this stuff. Let me put the rest of my stuff away too. And then I'll show you guys what I get. All right. So I just built up right here all the way up there. And uh, we have a lot of stuff now. So we have 10 diamonds. We have four stacks of coal, almost five. Uh, we have one and a half stacks of lapis, but I already had a lot of this on me. And then a bunch of redstone. Sweet. That worked out. I think we had two stacks of coal. And a little bit more. So we pretty much doubled everything we had, which is nice. That's why fortune's huge. It does suck that it's on this iron pickaxe, though. I should have just taken the risk, but I don't know. I guess I wanted the uh, guaranteed fortune. So let me go ahead and put a lot of coal in these things. I like having like a stack in each of them. That's kind of unnecessary, but it's okay. We have a lot left over, so it's fine. Let's smelt that. Let's smelt that. And then we have some leftover coal, so that's not bad. Um, we can also enchant again because mining all of those I got some levels back So, uh, let's go see what we can get on a sword. I'm not taking a risk on another pickaxe most likely at least efficiency four That's really nice sharpness three is really not even good It's not bad. We could always upgrade this by getting a sharpness book It'll be at least a decent sword for the time being so I'll do that. I don't really want to but whatever It's just sharpness three. Yeah, that's terrible But I mean at least we have a decent sword now Sure, dude. Um, yeah, so this has been a weird episode. Um, at least we finished this, which I'm proud of. Let me throw shaders on for a second. Look how nice this can look. Now, this kills my computer. I can't run this well at all, but oh, man. That looks party. Just, like, take a look at, at our area with nice shaders on. Oh, my God. I'm getting, like, really bad frames, but you can see them up top. I'm only getting, like, 45 frames. Oh, it's so bright, but jeez, this looks so cool. I think I might take all my screenshots with, like, shaders on from now on. But then even, like, I can run these ones better. Still not great. Just the enhanced default ones. It looks so much better than regular Minecraft. It doesn't even change all that much. I can run this at almost 60. Which is nice. Because uh, maybe I could screenshot with this it doesn't even look that much better i want to get like a good screenshot shader i don't like this one that much but let's see this one makes it all fuzzy that's the biggest problem i have with this one i feel like everything's too fuzzy this one might look the best just to take the picture with what's my fps right now it's at like 50 that's not even that bad this one might be the best just to take the screenshot with so we're gonna do that and there we go we're gonna finish this one off in style with a shader on that i never run because i can't Oh my, like, it's so fuzzy though. That's the only issue with this shader. I think the shader looks so nice aside from that. What does the water look like in this one? Hold on. The water is like the best part of shaders in my opinion. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that big boy water. Look at that dolphin too. What's up, dude? All right, well anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, this is actually running really smooth. I, I know the, the FPS looks really bad, but oh, I'm also getting raided. Let me deal with these guys first with my brand new sword. We're going to do this while looking good. Let me put the... What's up, dude? How you doing? My brand new sword's coming in clutch. I also have Bad Omen, but we'll get rid of that at some point. Anyway, though, now we are good to end this one, I think. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this was a weird episode with the enchants and whatnot, but I think next time we will finally get working on those boys. I might finally make them like a little stable just to chill in for the time being. Um, and then we will also... 
and get working on villagers. That'll be next time. But thanks for watching one final time, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. This is where every step you take is too.